Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you had a really great day trading today. So today was Wednesday, January 31st. It was the last day of the month and we did have FOMC today and the markets got absolutely smoked today. Starting in SPY, we did open the day with a gap down. It was a pretty decent size gap down. We got underneath the five minute 200 moving average right away. And then from there, it was a pretty decent drop. You can see the first signal that we got at the very start of the day was this cross down of the 35 EMA underneath the five minute 200 moving average. And then from there, we did come back up while waiting for the Fed rate decision. And right here, you could see this is where we initially got the rate decision of no change. And then when Powell started speaking, we popped up, we got up to the five minute 200 moving average and then dropped. We dropped completely out of the trading range. And I did mention this level in yesterday's video and that was the up gap from last Wednesday. We came in, we filled that completely and we dropped even further. We got down to last Monday and Tuesday's support. This was last last week on Monday. That was the up gap and that was support there before we took off a little higher along the five minute 200 moving average. So huge down day. We did close down 1.63%. VIX popped 7.66%. And we did not stay within the implied move today. And switching over to QQQ, and we had a pretty decent down gap in QQQ to start the day. We gapped down to pretty much where uh, this was last week, Monday and Tuesday support right here. And then from there we did drop. And you could see even the 35 EMA dropped outside of the implied move. And then from there, we came back up right here is where we got that rate decision and then Powell started to speak. We did get a pop and a drop. We came down to the 30 minute 200 moving average and we actually closed underneath that level. We did break it. QQQ closed down 1.96%. VXN closed up 3.87% and we did not stay within the implied move here either today. Big day, massive FOMC rug pull today. I hope you guys traded really safe today. Let's go check out tomorrow's levels. Alright guys, so before we head into tomorrow's trading ranges, if you find this information useful and you love that I break it down every night, then please give this video a like and also leave me a comment. That tells YouTube that this is great information that they should be suggesting to other people. And if you want to be notified every time I put out a new video, then make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. All right, so starting in SPY, tomorrow's implied move is between 479 and 487, and that is from options. The 30-day average volatility is just $1 wider in each direction, 478 to 488. We do have a pretty wide range tomorrow. And to the upside, the very first level to look for is going to be the 30 minute 35 EMA. And that could, you could also use the five minute 200 moving average. That five minute is right here, the blue dotted line. Sometimes they line up, sometimes they're a little off, but really it's the same level. And you could see right here for the past couple weeks, we have had the 35 EMA as support. And then we broke down today. We broke underneath it. Then when we came back up, that was resistance. So 35 EMA to the upside and then 487 is the top of the implied move. And we have left all time highs outside of the range today. We have a gap blocking that off as well. And to the downside, we do have this gap. We closed directly above this gap today and that goes right back to last week where we gapped up last Monday and Monday and Tuesday that was support. That level right here 
the bottom of that is at 482.38, and that could turn into a support. We also have that 30-minute 200 moving average, and those two levels could team up and be support tomorrow. And if we do break underneath that, the bottom of the implied move is at 479. And then just underneath that, we have the one hour 200 moving average. And both the 30 minute 200 moving average and the one hour 200 moving average are pointing up still. They have not been turned down. We have turned bearish on the smaller time frames, but right here, the momentum is still bullish. So I would be surprised if this doesn't at least and if we do come down, then maybe we consolidate here or even a little bit lower, but I can't imagine that we would break this level tomorrow. But we all know that anything is possible, and just underneath that, we do have one level that's outside of the trading range, and that is the up gap from January 18th before we had this pretty decent run. So um, that is down at 476. And then switching over to QQQ, we have the implied move over here is between 412 and 421 and that is from options and the 30-day average volatility is two dollars wider in each direction 410 to 423 and to the upside the first level to look for is going to be this 30 minute 200 moving average we did close just underneath that level today and if we get above that level then we have above that right here this is from last monday and tuesday that is at 421 and right as of right now that is a pivot resistance so that could be a resistance the top of the implied move is at 421 and then we have this new bear gap at the top of the trading range so if you're looking for a place to take profit anywhere up here in the red would probably be wise and then to the downside we do have this gap from january 18th as well right here and that is at 413 to four just under 415 and then the one hour 200 moving average is right at the bottom of the trading range the implied move at 412. And if that breaks, the next true support is really around 410. And that goes back to the up gap we saw 17th going into the 18th right here is likely to be the next big support if we really drop further. So there you have it guys, out of nowhere, our trading ranges got nice and messy. <laughs> have fun tomorrow, trade safe. Make sure you take profits when you're up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow night.